Getting stronger and putting on more muscle mass is obviously a good thing. Getting stronger and putting on more muscle mass is often viewed as a way to protect your body, to make it more resilient to the contact that you experience in sports. It's viewed as armor and protection, and this is true. And yes, there's also a performance component to it as well. If you're stronger and bigger, you'll have an easier time using that strength and size to your advantage. Whether you're tackling somebody or just leveraging body position against an opponent, getting strong is easy at first. Consistent effort and intensity gets you strong pretty quickly. But once you've built a requisite amount of muscle mass, playing your sport is gonna provide the majority of the armor building stimulus. You play your sport, your tissues get beat up from the contact that you experience and you adapt to it. And once you get to that point, you're probably better off making sure you can sustain your performance over the course of an entire competition. And this is the next piece of low hanging fruit after developing some strength and adding some muscle mass. But even if you don't have much strength or muscle mass, you can oftentimes avoid making that a limitation in your game. You can play in a way to avoid contact in your sport and oftentimes depending on your sport, avoiding contact is more effective than using contact to your advantage. Think about a lot of the contact sports, rugby, lacrosse, hockey, basketball, maybe not so much football. Avoiding contact can speed up the pace of play, making your conditioning and having a high power to body weight ratio play to your advantage. So you can hide strength and muscle mass limitations in a lot of ways, but you can't hide from or avoid fatigue in sports. You can't make a lack of conditioning an advantage for you. And trust me, I'm not saying don't lift weights. No one likes lifting weights more than me. I'm just saying, depending on your current levels of strength, you might be better off improving your body composition and conditioning over gaining strength and size. In most sports, your lack of conditioning can and probably will be more exposed than lack of strength or muscle mass. And I just think that's a good thing to keep in mind when making training decisions. But that's all I have for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.